Welcome to part 10 of the Spring Boot Microservices project series. So in the previous part, we saw how to dockerize our all applications inside our microservice architecture. So in this part, we will mainly concentrate on introducing monitoring across all our services and how to view the status of our services in a dashboard, right? So to monitor our services, we will be mainly using two softwares. The first one is Prometheus which will scrap all the metrics from our Spring Boot applications and it will store it in an in-memory database. And uh, we will visualize these metrics using another software called as Grafana, right? So now let's go ahead and understand how to implement monitoring in our microservice project. So this is how the, the process will work. So our Spring Boot application will make use of the actuator endpoints. So we have this Spring Boot actuator which will expose all the metrics of our application like the JVM metrics uh, and uh, other metrics we want to maintain. It will be exposed our, by our Spring Boot application using Spring Boot Actuator. And uh, the Prometheus software we will set up will pull our Spring Boot Actuator uh, endpoint for every you know, predefined seconds and uh, store it inside the in-memory database. Right. So this Prometheus will act as a, will act like a data source for Grafana, which provides a UI dashboard. So Grafana also pulls Prometheus. So whenever there is a new entry, uh, Grafana will uh, you know, update it and will show the, the metrics in our dashboard. So let's set up this whole infrastructure in our project and see how to implement monitoring. All right. So now, so now I'm inside my IntelliJ IDE. And the very first thing I'm going to do is to add the necessary dependencies for our services to enable Spring Boot Actuator, right? So for that, I'm going to open start.spring.io website because here I can add the dependencies through the UI and I can, you know, explore and, and I can view the pom.xml and copy the dependencies from there, right? So this is a very reliable way to get the dependency information. So I'm going to add the dependencies first of all for Spring Boot Actuator. And I am also going to enable the Prometheus support for our application, Spring Boot application. So for that, I'm going to type in Prometheus. And here you can see that this Prometheus dependency uses micrometer to get all the metrics and expose it in the Prometheus in the format so that Prometheus will understand. Right. So that's what it says here. Expose micrometer metrics in Prometheus format and in memory dimensional time series database with a simple built in UI. Right. So I'm going to select this particular dependency and let's see the pom.xml. So for that I'm going to click on this explore button. This will open the pom.xml. So here I'm mainly interested in this Spring Boot starter actuator dependency and also micrometer registry. Prometheus dependency. So I'm going to simply copy these two dependencies, go back to my project and I'm going to add this inside all of the services, right? So I'm going to add it inside the API gateway, inside the discovery server, inside the inventory service, the notification service, product service and lastly the order service right after adding all these dependencies in all our projects I'm just going to click on this particular maven icon so that these dependency will be downloaded to our machine so after everything is downloaded successfully we need to enable the actuator endpoint in our application Right. So, but before doing that, I think IntelliJ is saying that the Spring Boot Starter Actuator is already present in the order service. So let's search for that. And I think we have already added the actuator before. So we can remove this dependency now. And let's update the Maven configuration one more time. That looks fine. So the next thing we are going to do is to enable the actuator endpoints in all our microservices, right? So for that, we need to add a dependencies in the application.properties file. So for that, I'm going to first open source main resources folder and I'm going to open the application.properties file. 
and here I'm going to type in management the property name management dot endpoints dot web dot exposure dot include right so by default the all the health endpoints will be exposed by actuator so I also want to include the Prometheus endpoint so that's why I'm going to type in the value as Prometheus so by adding this value uh, you can access the slash actuator slash Prometheus endpoint from our service right so I'm going to add a small comment called as actuator Prometheus endpoint right so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this inside all other services so first of all I'm going to open this inside the copy this inside the discovery server the inventory service the notification service and the order service and you can see in the order service we are getting a error that it is a duplicate property key because we have already enabled all the endpoints for the actuator uh, by using the star wildcard right so I'm now going to remove this because we don't need this endpoint because we don't need this property so I'm going to go ahead with the next service the product service and paste the same property information inside the product service so after adding this dependencies and also after updating the configuration with the inside the application the properties file the next step is to build the docker images uh, using the jib maven plugin so for that I'm going to type in the command maven clean compile jib build so I'm going to use this particular maven clean clean compile jib build command and now our application will be built using the jib maven plugin and uh, this jib maven plugin will create the docker files and will push it into the docker registry as we saw in the previous video so I will be back once the build is completed alright so now the build is successful so the next step we have to do is to install Prometheus and Grafana so as we are using docker compose we can make use of the pre-existing docker images and spin up Prometheus and Grafana as part of the docker compose orchestration so for that I'm just going to scroll down until the end of the docker compose file and I'm going to paste in this configuration for both Prometheus and Grafana so let me explain uh, this docker compose configuration so I'm going to name this particular node as Prometheus which stores all the Prometheus configuration and uh, the image I'm going to use is this Prometheus image with version 2.337.1 which is the latest version of the docker image the container name I'm going to use it as Prometheus and I'm going to provide the restart policy as until stopped and I'm going to export the ports 9090 because as I want to run Prometheus on these ports and I'm going to add a volume which actually uh, copies the configuration the Prometheus configuration from a file called prometheus.yaml and this particular file is not existing yet we will, we will create it shortly so we are instructing docker to copy this prometheus.yaml file from our host machine to the slash etc slash prometheus uh, prometheus.yaml file during the container startup and this prometheus service will be dependent on the product service inventory service order service and the notification service because we are want to mainly um, monitor our main services main business main services which contains the business logic so that's why I've added uh, these four services but if you want you can also add the other services like the API gateway and the discovery server right so that is the configuration for Prometheus coming to Grafana I'm going to use the image uh, Grafana OSS with the version as 8.5.2 and I'm going to provide the container name as Grafana and I'm going to use the port 3000 to export uh, to expose uh, Grafana and uh, I'm going to link this to the Prometheus service and I'm going to create a volume which maps the Grafana folder to the slash where lib Grafana folder inside the docker container and finally I'm going to add some additional environment variables which defines the username and password as admin and password 
right so these are used when we want to log into grafana ui so we will see how to use that in how to do that uh, shortly right so after adding this configuration inside the docker compose file the next step is to create the prometheus configuration file so for that i'm going to click right click on the root folder and create a new folder called as prometheus and inside the prometheus folder i'm going to create a new file called as prometheus.yaml uh, let's add this into the git repository and for this configuration file so let me paste this uh, so let me paste some configuration file so and i will you know walk you through the whole configuration so first of all we are going to provide some global settings here so first one is going to be called as scrape interval in the previous diagram i show i showed you prometheus will be scraping our spring boot application for every predefined set of seconds so this interval we will we have set as 10 seconds here using the scrape interval um, field and uh, for every 10 seconds we are also going to evaluate the internal rules inside the prometheus right but we don't have any rules set up but this is uh, the default configuration we can use which uh, evaluation interval has 10 seconds so what this will do is if there are some custom rules inside prometheus these rules will be evaluated for every 10 seconds right and uh, next we have to define the scrape configuration so inside the scrape configuration we can define multiple jobs and as i mentioned before we will be setting up the jobs to scrape our main business services that is the product service order service inventory service and the notification service right so we have four jobs uh, we have total of four jobs and for each job we are going to first provide the metrics path right so this metrics path is nothing but the actual url which the prometheus has to call for our product service this is going to be slash actuator slash prometheus because this is the default url for all our spring boot applications right so this metrics path is going to be the same for all the jobs as you can observe because this is a default url and inside the static configs we have to we have to provide the target url so for product service that is going to be product service colon 8080 because uh, product service is running on the port 8080 and we are going to define a label called as product service application right similarly we have the, also the job configuration for order service uh, i've defined the, the target as order service colon 8080 because this is the url where the order service is running similarly we also have the inventory service and the notification service so this is the main configuration of prometheus so now let's go ahead and run our docker compose uh, command all right so let's start our docker container so let's start our all our services using the docker compose command so i'm going to type in docker compose op minus d so this will run all our services so let's wait until all our services are up up and running so you can see that all the services are up and running now i can check the logs of prometheus and grafana to see whether they are working they are running fine or not so i can type in docker logs minus f Prometheus and here you can see the command so you can see the message service is ready to receive web requests that's good so let's check also the logs for Grafana so I'm going to type in docker logs minus f Grafana and here you can see that also Grafana is working fine it's trying to access some default dashboards but it's fine as we did not create any dashboards yet so this is also fine so I'm going to first open a web browser and I'm going to go and so I'm going to open localhost 9090 and here you can see that we are able to access the default Prometheus UI and here I can search for some default metrics which are exposed by our uh, Spring Boot actuator endpoints from our microservices so I can search for different kinds of um events so i will first search for this logback events total and click on execute and here you can see that it's trying to read all the you no know, logback events metrics which are exposed by the inventory service the order service and the product service application 
Not only that, you can see the status of our uh, services by clicking on this status and service discovery. And here you can see the all the different services which are you know, identified by Prometheus. So I can also go to the status and targets and you can see that the inventory service is in the status up and it's working fine. Uh, it looks like the notification service is not working. We will get back to this later, but uh, let's see how to set up Grafana and visualize all the metrics. So to configure Grafana, I'm going to open the URL localhost 3000 and this will open a default Grafana dashboard. So as we define the username and password as admin and password, I guess. So let's go to the Docker Compose file. And yeah, so the username is admin and the password is password, right? So I'm going to type in admin and password and I'm going to log in. And here you can see the default Grafana homepage. Uh, the first thing you can do here is to, you have to first add the data source for Grafana, right? As I mentioned before, Grafana will need a data source to, do, to visualize the metrics. We will be using Prometheus as a data source. So let's click on add your first data source option here. And here you can see there are different kinds of data source you can add. The time series databases, we can use Prometheus, Graphite and InfluxDB. So I'm going to use Prometheus and I'm going to name this as Prometheus Microservices. And I'm going to define the URL as HTTP Prometheus colon 9090 right because Prometheus is the name of the container docker container which is running and as this is running inside Grafana is running inside a docker container I'm going to provide the name of the container so that it will communicate with Prometheus using the host name right so after adding this configuration I'm just going to scroll down and click on save and test and you can see that the data source is updated and the data source is working fine using this uh, status notification that's fine uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dashboard, right? To visualize all our services. So we can create our own dashboards, but this is not so nice because uh, we had that creating a dashboard is not uh, not an easy task. Uh, it needs a lot of configuration. So what I can do is I can import some existing dashboard configuration. So for that, I'm going to open my GitHub repository and uh, when you open my github repository and you can open and when you open the branch part 10 you can find a json file here called as grafana dashboard.json so click on this json file and copy everything which is inside this particular json file so all the way down i'm going to copy everything and i'm going to paste this inside the import via panel json text area right and i'm going to click on load like this and here I'm going to select the Prometheus data source right so Prometheus data source going to be Prometheus microservices because this is the data source we created and I'm going to click on import right and now you can see a beautiful dashboard with all the information like the uptime so and the start time when is this particular service started and uh, what is the heap memory which is used and what is the non heap memory which is used and you can also see the cpu usage and the average load of the services and you can see different kinds of statistics for the jvm statistics memory you can see the heap space allocation for different uh, spaces in our garbage collector and uh, different kinds of uh, no, uh, metrics and dashboards, you can visualize it here, right? Uh, so you can switch between our services using this instance. So the present uh, view you are seeing is for the inventory service. Now you can switch to the product service, for example, and you can see that the statistics has now changed. The heap space is used as 3.6%. And uh, here you can observe that as our product service is not using any uh, relational database, it's not using the, uh, the default Hikari uh, connection pooling so that's why you see this as none whereas if you open order service you can see that you can you know uh, select the default uh, hikari connection pools as we are using the mysql database so this is how you can monitor your services using prometheus and grafana i hope you learned something new 
i will see you in the next video and until then happy coding techies